You learn more about a person in an hour of play than you do in a lifetime of conversation. You learn more about a person in an hour of play than you do in a lifetime of conversation. Yesterday we played a soccer game and we lost 3-2 to two in overtime. It was golden goal against a, a really good opponent. And it was a physical game, but fair. The two referees we had were older gentlemen, each with 20-plus years of officiating college-level soccer. So these guys knew what they were doing, and they were courteous, and they were nice before and during and after the game. We happened to have three penalties inside the 18 box during the game. Uh, two of those were fouls, and one was a handball. And they were, they were the right calls. They were the right calls. They could have really probably gone either way. But I had no problem with the calls they made. They happened, and that's fine. Uh, of the three penalty kicks, our keeper saved one of them. That was amazing. Um, they whiffed one over the top, and they made the other one. Uh, so, again, all fine. No big deal. The opposing coach, who I had spoken to before the game, seemed like a nice enough guy, managed to get himself a yellow card for screaming at an official and wanting an offside call. Uh, with maybe maybe six or seven minutes left in regulation. And he it was a grown man, 40 maybe, has a college, has a college age kid, so so I don't know, maybe 45, 50. Grown man jumping up and down, fists clenched, pa- like pounding the ground almost, j- getting himself a yellow card for screaming at the official for an offside call. And so after the game, and I tend to be relatively composed. Uh, the only time I'll really get mad is if a kid um, is at risk of getting hurt. Then then kind of the mom, mama bear in me comes out. So after the game, I, I went over. And shoot, they scored on us golden goal maybe maybe seven minutes in, six or seven minutes in. So I, it was a great shot. No problem with it. After the game, I go over, I shake his hand, and he apologized for how bad the officials were. This guy just won a 3-2 to two golden goal game where he got three penalty kicks and he managed to get himself a yellow card. And he was apologizing to me about how bad the refs were. And I really, I try not to complain, and quite honestly, there's a referee shortage. So all I said to him was, hey, I'm, I'm just grateful that they were here because we got to play and there's an official shortage and I thought they did all right. So the coach complained really since the opening whistle and so did his players and so did the parents. And he seemed like a nice enough guy when I went over and talked to him before the game. Uh, And even after the game, he was cordial. But what I told my players at the end was that you learn more about a person in an hour of play than you can in a lifetime of conversation. Right? That's not a guy I would go out to dinner with. That's not a guy I would spend time with. Strictly because he got himself a yelling and screaming yellow card during a high school soccer game that quite honestly didn't, didn't, they all matter. This wasn't a conference game. This wasn't a state game. It wasn't a county game. It was a it was a, a friendly, if you will. So people's true colors come out when they compete. And my challenge for you and for myself is, are you the same person when there's a score being kept versus not? And is a conversation with you reflective of how you are when you're competing? Because I get it. It's emotional, and we're invested in the kids, and we're invested in the game, and that's good. Are we the same people? That's my challenge for you. I appreciate you. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Keep getting better every day.